Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and today uh, we will be discussing the problems of weekly contest 300. Uh, these are the four of the problems. We will discuss all of them one by one. So let's start with the very first problem. Decode the message. Okay. So this problem involves uh, quite a bit of hashing and uh, we need to actually map out the characters like from one character to other character and we are going to use some hash table or you can also use some uh, linear data structure uh, not calling it as data structure like linear array of size 26 you can use that okay so we are given two strings key and a message which represents a cipher key and a secret message respectively the steps to decode the message are as, as follows Use the first appearance of all the 26 lowercase English letters in the key as the order of the substitution table. Okay. Align the substitution table with the regular English alphabet. Each letter in message is then substituted using the table. And the species are transformed to themselves. Okay. For example, there is a key happy boy. So let's understand how the transformation is going to happen. So there is a string. Let me write down happy boy happy and there is a space over here and there is then there is a boy okay so according to the problem it says that we need to map out the characters of this uh, key uh, considering the all the unique characters first occurrence now h is present over here and no other h is present to the left of it we will assign h to a and again uh, a is present over here and there is no A to the left of it, so we will assign the next character is B, and then we have P, then we will assign P as C. Now again, we have again P over here. Now uh, for this P, there exists, like there already exists one P which is left of this current P. So we are not going to uh, like make, uh, assign a new occurrence, uh, new mapping for this P. Okay, so this will remain as it is because we have already mapped out the P already is present over here. Now Y will be mapped with D and space will be mapped with again a space and again B will be mapped with E and O will be mapped with F and now Y, Y is already mapped so we are not going to map it. This, uh, this is actually the correct mapping. So you can see, uh, let me write down H is mapped with A, A is mapped with B, P is mapped with C, Y is mapped with D and uh, you know B is mapped with E as well as O is mapped with F. Now it matches with this sequence you can see H is mapping with A, A is mapping with B, P is mapping with C, Y is mapping with D, B is mapping with E and O is matching with F. Okay so the basic idea is when you start iterating uh, in the key string so when you will uh, uh, find out a character you will check it out whether this character has already like this character has already been mapped or not if it is mapped like it is mapped with some other character then we are not going to map it with the new character otherwise we are going to map it with the current smallest character that we are having right now like so h for h you can see current smallest character that is not mapped yet is A and again A for A character the current smallest character which is not yet mapped is B this is what you are going to assign okay so now the problem becomes very simple we are given the key you need to first uh, uh, find out the you know correct mapping of each unique uh, lowercase English characters now you are going to iterate in the message that is also been given to us now we will to, we have to substitute each of the characters that is present in the message to the corresponding mapped uh, characters that we have uh, recently found. Now for the character space we are going to just map it uh, as it is like space is mapped with the space themselves according to this given data spaces are transformed to themselves. Okay so yeah. So what I've done is I've taken an unordered map of uh, characters, character, comma, character. You can also take a linear uh, string also, sorry, linear array also of size 26 
and you can map each character to the other one okay so uh, what i have done is i have iterated in the string key and whenever i will found a space i am not going to consider that otherwise if the current character c present in the key is not mapped like its entry is not present in the hash table we will map it with the current smallest character which is not yet mapped which like which has no mapping so hash of c exactly equal to ch and we will increment ch then now what i am going to do is i am going to iterate in the message and for each character if it has the entry in the hash table we have to like uh, make it c equals hash of c like uh, assign it to the to the new mapping character okay now uh, for the you know space uh, c is not going to change c is mapped to themselves I finally return the message so the time complexity of this solution would be uh yeah time complexity of solution of this solution be o of max of n comma m it would be something like this so uh, let me write down time complexity with the o of max of n comma m where n is the length of string key and m is the length of string message and the space complexity will be o of 26 okay max length of string so uh, this is all about this problem so if you guys have still any doubts you can reach out to us through the comment section of the video and uh, thank you for watching this video and do not forget to subscribe